so we install a Chevy small block into the impeller and we hit run for the first time. Contact! And this brake runs great! So as you can see the engine is looking really great and we got done painting it in the last video. So right now, right over here, I got everything that's like accessory to the engine ready to be painted black. I got everything cleaned up, whatever needed to be grinded down. And uh, we're gonna shoot it real quick some, uh, with some semi-gloss enamel paint. cleaned up, spray bombed it real quick with some uh, semi-gloss black and it, it looks good. I mean, it, it look, definitely looks better than before. before. The car is pretty much ready now to get the, get the engine put inside of it. Let's get the engine out here, hooked it up to the engine hose so we can put on like a flex plate and stuff like that on again. And uh, let's do this. Got it in there. Two or three, installed in the impeller. Man, it looks good in there. The orange, the silver valve covers, and the whole blacked out engine bay now looks real damn nice. So, we got the new power steering pump uh, put on with the new puller wheel. And we're gonna slide this thing in here. So, next thing, we got this stud thing going on here with a, with a ground on it. Well, guys, all the front accessories back on. The only thing I have to do is put the wires back on the alternator and then pretty much everything on the front of the engine is done. And there we go, one manifold installed. Jedi Knight. The surgeon light? Oh my god! As you guys remember in the last episode, these exhausts have been leaking very bad, okay? So, of course, we got some new seals here, and uh, I'm just gonna see if I can pop them in. How the fuck did... How did I manage to get it? Oh, there you go. <laughs> when you fuck up, but don't really fuck up, so it's okay that you fucked up a little bit. It's one of the moments where you can't see the bolt, but uh, you think it's just gotta do the job, you know? Yep, we are fretting on, baby. We are fretting on. Yeah, there you go. Cross fret, better than no fret. So there you go, uh, both manifolds in. Uh, was a little bit of a hassle to get uh, some of the nuts in there and uh, the double gasket and stuff, but uh, it's in there. Man, I'm bleeding. That's great. Oh yeah, by the way, don't worry about this cap. It's just a customer cap. Okay, so next up is gonna be uh, putting the converter bolts on, and then we're gonna put the service plate, service cover, whatever on. Pretty much done underneath the car. Then we can move off the top and put on the carburetor and start the thing up. So as you guys can see, the only thing we're missing in the engine bay now is the distributor cap and plug wires. We got everything done underneath, torque converter, inspection cover, starter, exhaust, everything is underneath, is done. So what we just gotta do now is put it on top of the cylinder, take spark plug number one out, put a finger on top of it, crank the engine, and then, then when the engine says, then you know you're on top of that cylinder on cylinder number one. And if you buy it yourself, I have a little trick that you guys can see here in a minute, which is a really smart trick if you're on your own and have to crank the car from the inside. On a Ford and a Mopar, you can usually just trip the starter cylinder with a screwdriver or something out of the engine bay, but a GM, it isn't that easy. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys a little trick with some fuel hose and stuff. So here's the trick you wanna do. You got some free edge fuel line, right? You're just gonna stick that fuel line into the cylinder. Then up here in the roll, you put a finger on it. Then when you turn the engine, when it hits top dead center on the compression stoke, here up on the hose it's gonna go and then you let off the key. And then you go out and check your harmonic balancer and then it should, it should be pretty close. And uh, then you can uh, fine adjust the last bit or whatever on the harmonic balancer bolt. And then you can turn the engine back or forward or whatever. Okay, we got the timing going on. So uh, let's give it a, give it a try. See first, try. 
So at the set time, we should be between like 8 to 12 degrees right now. Uh, initially set, so uh, it should light up. You can already tell it idles better than uh, when we took it in here. This is completely cold and it's snowing outside. Uh, not touching the frontal, choke, everything. Contact. 